going on guys handy the sparky here electrician from new jersey and today i'm going to show you guys how to service a full generac guardian series generator and this is a 14 kilowatt standby whole home generator and i'm going to show you guys how to replace the battery how to change the plugs how to change the oil how to change the oil filter as well as the air filter so stay tuned and watch the video so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this top hatch, just like this. It should just open up like that, okay? The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna then take this hatch apart. It just snaps off. Oh. Just like that, nice and easy. You just do a little lift up and it comes right off. Now we have this all open, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly right now, first thing is to change the battery. Now before working on the battery, you wanna make sure that your Generac is switched to off, everybody, okay? You don't want it to get zapped or anything, so make sure it's off. You got it off right now, and right now I'm about to take off the, the leads right here. So I'm gonna take one off right now, one screw, just like that. All right, so we got the one lead off, just like that. And you wanna be careful with this, cause you don't wanna shock. All right, I got one lead off. Now I'm going to do the second lead. Okay. Like that. I'm going to take my wrench. Like that. Okay. This is going to come right off. So we got the battery off. Both legs. This can so you're cleaning out the, uh, the old debris in there. We're going to put in the new battery. Yeah, I'm just kind of wiping down. Yep. Before I put that new battery in there. Battery. So this was a 540 cranking amps 26R battery. And we got the same thing right here. This is if you have a 17 kilowatt. Four, it's actually a 14 kilowatt. Oh, it's 14 kilowatt? Yeah, it's 14 kilowatt. Yeah, so when you have the, when you, before you service this, make sure you have this in the off position. And mm -hmm. a lot of these will have a fuse right here. Yeah. This was inserted right here. And just in case you bump into it, it yeah. will override. Yeah. This is where the battery was. Mm -hmm. Here's the old one. Yep. Kind of heavy. Yep. Return these to your local shop. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Throw her in. Yep, look at the battery, everybody. That's how you change. I take a, ha I take a half inch, half inch nut driver. Yep. So crank it right down. Not crazy tight, because you have to take it off in the future. Nice. All right, All that's right. it, that's next the battery. We did, next, we did the spark plugs. Mm -hmm. This is right here. How do you change the spark plug? There's a spark plug, guys, yeah. right there. I took, I changed that already. Mm -hmm. This is what comes out right here. That's a spark plug. Yeah, it threads right into the gap. Mm -hmm. This is all in one piece. And yeah. You take a 5 eighths deep socket this is not a five eighths but okay. you need something deep like this okay if you got something like this something a little more shallow mm -hmm. you're not going to reach you got to get the whole thing in there so get a five eighths deep socket okay here. so how many spark plugs are there two you okay got one here mm -hmm. and the other one is right in the back okay in the back got, over here yeah if you got your deep socket you'll be able to squeeze in there you yep. don't, don't worry about getting a ball hitch or anything like that or a ball socket. Yep, guys, so for the spark plugs, one's in the back over here, and there's one in the front over here, and that's how you that's how you change the spark plug. You just push it in and out. So now we're gonna do the oil. Okay, so spark plugs, boom, bada bing. Now we're gonna change the oil. Ken, how do you change the oil? Easy, so here is the, the nozzle right here. This okay. is on the bottom side right here. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them, some of them have like a cooling okay. like this and to cool off the oil as well, which is pretty cool, but I don't really see it on this one. Yeah. So we're gonna take this off. Oh, oh this is so cool today. I know. You know, it's like so tempting to just cut it, but. All right, so this comes out right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little tip. Before you start taking the oil out, let this run for about five to 10 minutes. It'll heat up the oil and it will come out much smoother and quicker. So yeah. Waiting. Yeah, guys. So we had this generator running for 10 minutes and now it's going to be easier to, to change the oil. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. Usually you have it nice and low. See how it, oil needs to flow. So. Yeah. See how it's that nice and loose? Yep. Switch that out. It comes right out. It's okay. not going to come spewing. What I like to do. I like to put this 
under here mm -hmm. so it stays down. There you go. It's going to start flowing. Yep. That's it. Here, let me see. Guys, oil's coming out now. This is how we're changing the oil. Yeah, so it'll give it some time. Guys, here's also the uh, oil you, that you should get. Here's the Generac oil, engine oil right here. This is the one you want to get. We got two quarts. That's how, you that's how you test the oil. See how much oil is in there? That's well, your oil stick. No oil. Mm -hmm. so. All right, so guys, this is how you put in the new oil. So as you can see, my brother Ken's got a air uh, filter. You always want to use a filter because you don't want to spill the oil. All right, one quart. We usually put some, they gave us two. But we're gonna measure and see how much more we need. Mm -hmm. Here's guys, this is how you measure the oil. Actually, I remember this from a from a lesson with the cars. Yeah. Right, nice. All right, so how do you change the oil filter, Ken? So here's the oil filter for Generac here. Make mm -hmm. sure you have something to catch. It's not gonna just come out clean. Yeah. It's not gonna come out like this, but it's gonna be enough. Yeah. So little paper towels is all you need. You just turn it like that, nice and that's good. Yeah. So you don't want it too tight. A lot of people, some people will, oh. yeah. People who don't know what they're doing, they'll tighten it too hard. Yeah. But you just turn it by hand. This is what the oil filter looks like, everybody. So if you want to make sure you get the right part, looks like this, and it just snap, it just twists on. It's the old filter right there. Just know that there's going to be some oil that comes out, so just beware. Nice. on and then a hand tight not yeah. hand tight but mm -hmm. enough and then quarter turn done yeah all right everybody i'm going to show you guys how to change the air filter and as you can see this is a 14 kilowatt generac standby generator now they make different models and this is a 14 kilowatt and here is how you get to the air filter so you're just going to take off it's going to be right here so you're going to take off this wing nut there's one and then here's two there you go, there's two. And then boom, this should come off. And that is the air filter, everybody. It's pretty clean. Yep. So it looks pre pretty relatively clean, but we're gonna put a new filter in. New 14 kilowatt generator air filter. This is the air filter for a anything above, uh, it's a 20 kilowatt to a 26 kilowatt. So. This is a 14 kilowatt generator, so they have a circular filter. So don't get confused, guys. But um, guys, we're gonna change it out right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I do a little twist, just like that. I'm gonna put on the new air filter. It's gonna go in its grooves. That's it. Throw it on, put back the wing nuts. All right, guys, so we just finished the full service of the Generac, everybody. We changed out the oil, the oil filter, the spark plugs, the air filter, and the battery. So, guys, and lastly, the last thing you want to do is you always want to keep a log in here. So, for the next electrician or the next guy that comes, make it easy for him. So, we're going to tell him that we just changed out, gave this a service on October actually it's december 26 2025 that is the day actually of this install of the service but guys i'm going to show you guys how it closes up and we're about to, we're about finished all right everybody we just got it all cleaned down wiped down look at this this is what you call a service that's how we do it show you guys how to put the cover on and you don't need any screws you just snap it on How's that tab? Good. Alright guys, that's how you put on the cover. And then lastly just close it down. Wait, wait. That's how you guys service a Generac full service on a 14 kilowatt Guardian Series whole home generator. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!